My name is Max Diamond. For the last year and a half, I've been doing a culinary deep dive on sea urchin. I'm talking some mad scientist food product development, and I'm super excited to share with you today what I've learned about the purple sea urchin. Which is also referred to as uni. I have about a decade of professional culinary experience. I've worked in Michelin star restaurants, uh, did some corporate catering at Airbnb's headquarters, and even developed some liquid nitrogen ice cream uh, for a Fortune 500 company. I also have a master's degree in environmental management and science and a background in food systems research. I'm super stoked to share uh, these findings on sea urchin with you um, and why exactly I'm so obsessed with it. Sea urchin is just the most unique food I've ever encountered in 10 years of cooking. The, the flavor is haunting, uh, completely obsessed with it. Not only is it really delicious and being used in everything, from steak to ice cream. It also is something that can be eaten really sustainably and solve a huge urgent environmental problem in California. We're gonna do a few uh, quick cooking demos. One is gonna be on a urchin toast using an urchin compound butter I've developed that's just eaten as a snack. And the other is gonna be on a little bit more of a involved, elegant main course, a sea urchin risotto. Let's do this. This little purple thing is a purple sea urchin. And it just so happens that what I'm holding in front of you here, the Santa Barbara purple urchin, is world renowned. And it's considered one of, if not the best urchin to eat. It just has this overall uh, richness. Think about like uh, olive oil or cheese, you know, a lot of complexity. Each time you have a bite, it leaves you wanting more. This is kind of sweet like a lobster and it's savory like a mushroom. The texture on the inside, it's like avocado. All right, so we have an open urchin now. What do you do with this thing? Uh, this is one of the uni tongues. You just kind of want to be gentle about it. Then cleaning it, I take all the urchin row, uh, regular butter, and blend them together. We have the urchin compound butter right here. It's a pretty simple snack. Spreading the uni on toast is gonna take less time than it takes to brew a cup of tea. And it's pretty tasty. Mm. It's actually pretty good for you. Sea urchin is like an egg really nutritious. This thing is full of proteins and fats, amino acids, sugars, and uh, you have a variety of salts, sweet, salty, umami, in your face. So let's say you wanna do something a little more fancy. The uni is very rich, and so we're just kinda trying to balance out that flavor. Voila! So right now we've toasted the rice, uh, sweated the shallot and garlic, and we're now ready to deglaze the pan. I'm using sake. Once the pan is pretty much dry, the alcohol's evaporated off, we're just left with the flavor. That's when we're gonna add the dashi. One other thing that's important uh, when making this, you just wanna season as you go. So I'm adding uh, a little bit of salt here and I won't have to overcorrect and salt it too much at the end. So the risotto is just about cooked through. Just a little bit of chew, um, and this is where the whole dish comes together. So now the moment we've all been waiting for, um, I'm gonna add this urchin compound butter that I've developed umami bomb of flavor uh, that is just gonna transform this dish. And you know, when you have a live urchin, uh, it's super expensive to source because it's live, it's spiky, it's a total pain to process, clean, all that. Unlike a live urchin, it can just be easily used right out the box. Now we have uh, one more secret ingredient for this thing. Uh, this is an urchin batarga that I created. Um, it's been fermented, dried, it's all sea urchin, uh, and pretty much we're just grating it like Parmesan cheese. Ooh. 
Voila, this is a uh, sirichin risotto, a uh, little umeboshi, some mushrooms, and then we finished with an urchin botarga on top of the sea urchin compound butter to bring it all together. In the last five years, 90% of Northern California's kelp forests have disappeared at the hands of purple urchins. Now they're encroaching on Southern California. And when these urchins form these barrens uh, and they eat all the kelp, it's extremely hard to reverse. This matters to people that are not just environmentalists, it matters to everyone, you and me, people in California, because the loss of kelp habitat has cost an estimated $390 million to California through cost-benefit analysis. Uh, the reason kelp is so important is that uh, it ends up doing carbon sequestration to mitigate climate change. It really supports a lot of fisheries here and protects an incredible amount of biodiversity, over a thousand species. All of that seems like it's about to disappear at the hand of purple urchins. The thing is, it's not all doom and gloom. There's something that you, as an individual consumer, can do. And that is to eat purple sea urchin as much as you possibly can. By eating purple sea urchin products, it gives us a fighting chance to end up restoring ecosystem balance and save California's vanishing kelp forests. Eating uni food products ends up being a win-win for people and the environment. And it's one of the very few instances where concentrated human consumption of a seafood protein can actually create a positive impact. So eat uni, it's tasty, and in the end, it's good for you and it's good for the environment.